Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. As usual, murder and betrayal among other internal strife. Harry did all he could to crank up the chaos. Who even has the guts to worship him as a god? That's beyond humanity. That's wickedness. I expose Harry's transgressions mercilessly, a subject that might not make you comfortable. Please bear with me. Every like, share and subscription on this channel will make me happy, this is all to say what I wanted as a background before diving ahead with the main topic. Let's begin. In his memoir called Kill, Prince Harry mocks the looks of rubbernecks in his own hair loss is now starting to visibly stand out, making them look more like Princess Diana. And Harry says his own recollection of a family gathering in April 2021 features William's well-known scowl and thinning hair, both of which are more pronounced than his own despite their comparative young ages. Spare also drops a few bombshells, including Harry serving in the British military during his tours of Afghanistan and William's treatment of Meghan Markle. Members of the royal circle fear his brutal words about them will now completely scupper any reconciliation and describe it all as ice cold. Top royal expert Hillary Ford which claims William will not be forgiving, reportedly preventing Harry from returning to see the family. Broadcaster D.E.D. Dunleavy concurs, likening William to the hard stance that Prince Philip once took on, things. While King Charles is seen as forgiving, Ford which claims William's stance, particularly since the Queen's final days takes a lot of air out Harry sailing back into port. It is easy enough to dox Harry's stratagems. He takes every opportunity to reinforce his bond with Mummy. However, he will never change what P.W. inherited, his nature whether bald or with hair is resident in the smile, expressions, and gaze what a freak Harry may be, the classic cabbage that grows into Meghan's image. Then again there is Prince William who has never had as much hair anywhere on his body of people ain't numbers average Joe normal mans and goes so far in loving husband family country haciendalo no against him all. His looks remain good, portrayed by a well-groomed face and inviting smile that reminds one of his mother. A constant reminder of her beauty, Prince William looks more like his mother Diana both in the face and also personality. Harry may have hidden his thinning hair under those curls for a while longer, but it is likely that he suffered from the same male pattern baldness at the same pace and age as William. How immature Harry appears. Since all that does is show us just how low Harry's bar actually goes. It does not matter if it hair is thinning, decreasing, or gone. Do we really have to judge someone on what is visible from his, her head i.e. thicker or thinner hair and public appearances? And then to cry and sue when one potentially is going to be exposed. He behaving like a child. Photo, disabled for telling the truth and pointing out that yes, it is an explosive comment to make, especially about Harry. Apparently, he has never gotten over his jealousy of my childhood. The animosity and competitiveness are ever-present. Given all of the PR stuff about his lineage, I would suggest that Harry at least abstain from comparing. Prince Harry in the only hapless sense real princes don't behave like that. Specifically, I think Harry, like anyone, should check into a therapist way faster than he ever did. Prince William instead appears to be more of the Spencer lineage, whereas Harry's physical features are in keeping with his Mountbatten Windsor line. Prince William at least has been honest about his hair loss. Every time I see him, his hairline is inching ever so closer to William's and though he styles it in such a manner that the bald spot itself can't really be seen, and there's usually lots of styling product used, reportedly tries new treatments all too late to try and keep what little remains. But still he fluffs his curl, now as my grandmother did in life's latter stages to conceal it. Edward abdicated the throne, probably to ally himself with some opponents he wrote a book about his life in the royal family but did not repeatedly denigrate members of his own flesh and blood. It's time Prince Harry and Meghan were prevented from dragging the royal family down into gutter Prince William is ready to be that guardian. King George VI questions his parenting and treatment of their mother, so he hesitates to make that separatio Prince William is well positioned to undertake this role. 
In his 3-0 behavior, Harry left room for Meghan to launch her assaults. Which just further shows that Meghan has no forward planning at all. Obviously, unless she was trying to ensure her husband remained estranged from his relations in the UK, what possible good could she have thought would come of that? Serves him right hell, maybe she is looking forward to some fluke lightning strike payday that daddy scammy Henry may get in the future? William, of course, still shares plenty in common with Princess Diana. Prince William, 3-4 may be a handsome catch, but it seems women also crush on his graceful wife. Harry might want to rethink his substance abuse. More than 20 years after Diana's death, and as William the Prince of Wales pays tribute to their mother on camera, Harry runs MTV's red carpet exploiting his mother's passing for commercial gains. How unfortunate it's his genetic characteristics that are becoming to be the main point. He lost his shirt when he gave an interview to a journalist for the first time. Harry needs to mature. Emotionally. As for Prince William, well frankly I think he looks a lot like his beautiful mom. Not an issue. The prince with the flowing locks and golden boy face no longer looks like their mother to Will, then. In other words, are there no good optometrists in Montecito? There's no denying that William channels his mother's glow, which shines through in her eyes, as well has her signature sultry gaze and striking looks. Ominously the Prince of Sorrows makes his repeated presence known. It was clear that William had both physically and emotionally inherited his mother's genes, reflect on the man Prince William has matured into below. Harry is left to mention his mother every time he speaks knowing well it reads nothing like her or conjures the amazing memory of what she was. And who does Harry resemble? William has the royal family look, not Harry. Something about the shape of Harry's head is odd. To the rear roof, it is flat with a broad top. Just like a pail. But that is not a head shape, loved by any member of the royal family certainly Harry made a dig at William with that one. But, can we at least suggest he look in the mirror and announce who has a bigger frown? And it's not William. Harry is forever frowning. But while everyone desperately sought to avoid the stink bomb Diana threw, despite these shenanigans and infidelity Camilla is now an excellent wife after all she has provided Charles with more years of wedded bliss than did his first bride. Before me a scowling man remained. Was he losing his composure? Prince William attended his grandfather's funeral and we are not sure what Henry wanted ex did. Surely Henry did not expect to see a bloated and drunken Prince William whooping, smiling, laughing? Did he expected Prince William to be having a great time? playing the naughty schoolboy at Althorpe for his mother's statue unveiling, lack of respect and behaving like an overgrown child? Harry never really caught on about the world, did he? But paired with the more chiseled structure of William's skull, his hairline looks classically masculine. Gladly he got her mom beautiful skin, ears and eye shape, dad knows. And his dignified, good-tempered face is eternal. Sure, he looks not so young anymore gone is that roundness of adolescence. He still probably is a looker by all accounts, just refer back to that impressive muscular build he displayed at the polo match. He looks most like his father, but carries himself more forcefully. In keeping with his mother's efforts. He is like wine, he gets better with age. But poor Harry has not fared so well, mocking his brother for looking a bit out of condition and older. He is grayer at the temples, his hairline pushed further back and a light sunburn gives him reddened skin on cheeks that droop like those of his father, sunken eyes narrowed as they were curled towards corners more haunted than ever. Parts of slightly less prominent, protruding ears. While he clearly has muscles, they're not his father's natural dancer physique. But it is certainly not to be said that the prince's short cut and therefore secret baldness were a hideous sight cause he looks discernibly attractive not even a chapter of disguising or combing over. In Harry's case, on the other hand if his hair thins and he stands at risk of going into a future with a visible bald spot, he might look like Bozo the Clown once did for having red crazy hair. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, 
please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.